Previously on Hellwood. I'm sorry, sir, but your mother, she, she didn't make it. I know. She's been dead for years now, but thanks for reminding me. Paladin, I'm pregnant, and you're the father. Wait, who are you? What's happening? This radio station is in unacceptable condition! We do try our best to maintain the radio- this isn't real. None of this is real. Paladin. I'm pregnant and you're the father. How the fuck does that even work? Man, I really need to lay off the drugs. Good evening, listeners. Summer is here, and boy is it hot. The public pool on Joffer Street is now open for everyone to go stand in and cool off. There is no water in the pool. No one knows why the owners didn't put any water in it. However, the owners did want you all to know that this will not affect their business and they also wanted you to keep in mind that standing in the pool imagining that there is water is just as cool and refreshing and that the heat is just a thought planted in your heads. There is no global warming, there is only mental institutions. Breaking news. A few students from the Hellwood Elementary School have gone missing. Being the foolish little brats that they were, they decided it would be fun to sneak their way into the school's basement. From there, they discovered an entrance that led to underground tunnels that stretched beyond the school across our town. As of right now, I fail to see what the problem is here. Those kids are learning their lesson by getting themselves lost. But if they don't get out of this themselves, then they'll think that someone else will always be there to get them out of their own mess. That is not how life works. And there is nothing worse than children being raised. Paladin is in the underground tunnels right now in order to keep us up to date with this story. <laughs> Not today, sir. How long would you say those tunnels are, Paladin? I said no, sir. I'm not even in those tunnels. I'm working on my own story. I get it. The story bores you just as much as it bores me. No, it's just... I am under the impression that you enjoy watching me suffer? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I think you do. If I wasn't immortal, I would have been dead twice because of you. Technically, both times were the weather's fault, and we don't affiliate ourselves with him anymore. You have a point, but I'm not going into those tunnels. Okay then, you're just wasting my time. No, I'm getting you another story. Well, listeners, it would appear as though we cannot continue this story right now. To make up for our lack of information, however, I am delighted to inform you all that we shall be accepting calls at this time. Please do feel free to call and tell us what you think about this situation. Do you think that those kids deserve to be lost in those tunnels? Do you think a search party is necessary? Oh, we have someone calling in already. 
First caller, you're on the air. Hi, this is Miss Evelyn from Hellwood Elementary. Oh boy, what do you have to add to this story? <laughs> you don't sound very thrilled to be speaking to a teacher. I'm never thrilled when anything involves children. Well, I'm never thrilled when anything involves you, but this is a radio station and I am fulfilling my duty as a teacher to inform the town what is going on here at the school. And what is going on exactly? Well, I'm looking for the kids right now, actually. Wouldn't that mean you would also be lost? Not at all. I... Teachers are born with the knowledge of the underground tunnels. Situations like this have always been a concern here at the school. Wait a minute. What exactly makes this story worth explaining over radio if you already know what you're doing? You'll find them eventually, and from there you already know which way the exit is. Knowing where I'm going is only half the battle, I'm afraid. There are things down here that I must be prepared to deal with should I come across them. Do tell. Have you ever wondered what happens to teachers when they retire? No. Of course you wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Anyways, when a teacher retires, they, well, they are thrown into the tunnels. What's wrong with that? If you stay in the tunnels too long, it starts to change you. First your mind starts to go, and then your soul. It turns you into a zombie, basically. So you're saying that the kids may have been eaten? Let's not jump to conclusions. I, I, I gotta go. Well, there is still hope yet for this story to get more interesting. Second caller, you're up. Greetings, citizens. I wanted to let you know I'm very enraged about this situation. We need to come together as true Hellwood citizens. We do not need to worry about our children attending school. I promise you, they will be safe. We need not to worry about the insects crawling on our faces and climbing in and out of our holes on our faces. <laughs> okay, but what does this have to do with the kids being lost in the tunnels exactly? Just focus on family values, like praying at the gods above, and vote for me. I will make sure you sleep at night. Vote for me and I will make your most pleasurable nightmares come true. Prank callers. Listeners, if you can't take this situation seriously, then I'm afraid that we're going to have to stop taking calls at this time. And now, a word from our sponsor. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's why here at Breaking Bread, we added an extra kick to your day with our famous homemade sugar. Why use anyone else's sugar? No one else has pure sugar like we do. Remember, if it isn't blue, it isn't pure. If you're not suffering from withdrawal, it isn't pure. If you're not getting it from Breaking Bread, it isn't pure. So come down to Breaking Bread every day for the rest of your life. This message was brought to you by the place already mentioned in this ad. Seriously, I'm not sure why I have to keep repeating these places. You know who they are. Okay, listeners. Since Playden decided he wasn't going to do what we previously intended, he is now working on his own story for us. Playden. What could you have possibly came up with that was better than the story we worked very hard to find after hours? Sir, I'm over on the edge of Hellwood. Which edge? Be more specific. I'd rather not say. Did you really go there? Sir, I can explain- No! We are not talking about this right now. Do you have a story or not? There is a hole? No, no, a tear in our reality? I see it in the distance, but I can't reach it. 
Is that it? No. <laughs> I see well, people. They are gigantic. <laughs> what are they doing? They <laughs> don't <laughs> seem to notice a tear. They seem to be sitting down just communicating oh, like in their own language. Oh, big deal. Giants from another world. I could have made that story up on the spot. I'm not making this up. Wait, who's that? Hmm? There's someone else here, shrouded in a cloak. You're still being too vague. He's closer to the tear than I am, but he spotted me. He's running towards me! You sure seem to make a lot of friends, don't you? I'm running! Sir, I'm not gonna make it! I'm not gonna make- Well, that was anticlimactic. Back to our story on the underground tunnels. Miss Evelyn fought a magnificent battle against the zombie horde, said Principal Mancini just a few moments ago. The children... The children were all saved by Miss Evelyn. Wow. This was the worst ending to a story I have heard since not dare repeat it. Citizens of Hellwood There are some things in this world we just cannot explain. Like tears to other worlds, retired teachers turning into zombies, or even how Paladin manages to get back to the station as quickly as he does. But I do know one thing. I. Hate. Children. I'm back, Ramzai. Who are you talking to? <laughs> you, of course. Who else would I be talking to? I don't have a name. As far as I recall, I never had one. Then why are you wearing a name tag that says Ramzai on it? I... I don't know. Listeners... I think I'm going to have to call it a day. Apparently, I am not who I think I am. Maybe... I never was. Coming up next... Well, I'm sure you already know what your next life is, right? Good night, Hellwood. Good night. Got time with it, bro. <laughs>